everyone and welcome to Fun Foods. I'm Miss Lisa here at the Fayette County Public Library and today I'm going to make one of my favorite desserts. This is a chocolate eclair. Now you need a lot of ingredients. For the icing you're going to need oil and, and syrup and vanilla and powdered sugar and some cocoa and some melted butter. For the actual cake part of it you are going to need some pudding. Okay, you need two boxes of instant pudding. You need some Cool Whip and a whole box of graham crackers. Oh, and don't forget the milk. We're going to need the milk too. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to make the filling first. To make the filling, you're going to have to start off with the, um, with the pudding. And so you're going to need three and a half cups of milk. So let's fill this up. All right, so there's two cups of milk. And we need another cup and a half. There we go. All right, so we need all that milk. And you're going to want to have a whisk to whisk up the jello. So we're going to put the jello in. Now I am just using plain vanilla jello today. In the past, I've used the white chocolate vanilla, and that is really delicious. So I would suppose you could do other things. I mean, you could maybe even use pistachio if you want, but then I don't think you could call it chocolate eclair. All right, so let's stir this up. Okay, now you're going to want to stir it up so that all the glumps are out of it. And now before we do anything else, we're going to add the Cool Whip to this Jello. You don't want the Jello to set up. As you know, instant Jello will set up fairly quickly. You don't want it to set up too quickly. So we want to add that Cool Whip in there. Now a couple of weeks ago we had a get together and I made chocolate eclair and I forgot the Cool Whip. Folks, don't do that. <laughs> the dessert was not near as good um, without the Cool Whip. Okay, so now my Cool Whip has been in the refrigerator, sort of at room temperature. Okay, it's not frozen. Having a hard time getting the lid off here. All right, so we're going to take our Cool Whip, just put that in there with that pudding. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start stirring that around. Okay, we're going to make a nice fluffy filling for our chocolate eclair. I'm afraid that's going to fall in. Okay, let's go ahead and get the uh, rest of the Cool Whip. Okay, I'm just going to stir that around and around and around until it all blends well together. Still a little bit more in that pan I want to get out. All right, so we're done with that tub of Cool Whip. Let's stir this around and around. Okay, so we're going to stir this up and then we're going to let it set. And I just got it all over me. My goodness, I guess that's what an apron is for, huh? All right. Still a little glumpy. I'm going to go back to my whisk because we want to smooth it out. Okay, so like I said, this is two boxes of instant jello pudding and a box of Cool Whip. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and this is going to be our filling. Okay, so now I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to go ahead and make the frosting. Okay, so to make the frosting, we need to have some milk. We need three tablespoons. So here's two and three tablespoons of milk. And then the majority of this frosting is powdered sugar. So you actually need to use almost a whole box of powdered sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm gonna stir that around. Okay, so with the powdered sugar, using that milk, it's gonna dissolve, creating a wonderful frosting for us. All right, so we're going to continue to add the powdered sugar. Now there's a few other liquids that we do need to add in here. I'm going to go ahead and start getting this pretty well stirred in before I add some more liquid. So next I am going to add my butter, and I have three tablespoons of melted butter. So we're going to go ahead and add the melted butter on in there. Continue stirring it around, trying to make a delicious icing to go on top of this chocolate eclair. Okay, we need a little bit of vanilla, another two tablespoons. Okay, 
And then we also need two tablespoons of this light Cairo syrup. Pour that on in there. Okay. I'm going to keep stirring it. Now I do have to add more powdered sugar here in a minute. <laughs> And you also need just a little bit of vegetable oil, just a teaspoon and a half or so of that. So that's going in there as well. All right. And now I'm going to continue to add that powdered sugar until it's all dissolved. And then, of course, since this is a chocolate eclair, we can't forget the cocoa. So we're making this delicious topping to go on top of our dessert. All right, let's keep adding the powdered sugar. This looks like a lot, but once you lay it on top of our, our dessert, you'll see it's gonna spread out pretty evenly. You need a nine by 13 pan, and it's starting to get pretty thick here. Add just a little bit more, and then we're gonna add the cocoa. So it calls for six tablespoons of cocoa. If you don't like it that chocolatey, then maybe just go down to four. So we're just using this Hershey's cocoa. And there's two tablespoons and four. Let's go ahead and get that mixed in there and see how it looks. Mm -mm -mm. Smelling good, woo, my goodness. Maybe a little bit of a deeper bowl would have helped. I would sort of just spread it all over the table here. Okay, now it does call for two more tablespoons, but I really think that is quite chocolatey enough. We're just going to leave it be. Definitely smells chocolatey. Mm. If smells could go through the camera, you'd be smelling it. All right, so now that we've got everything that we need we're going to put the whole chocolate eclair together here's where our graham crackers come into play so you're going to take your 9 by 13 pan and you're going to line it with graham crackers and if they break that's no big deal okay so you're just going to lay your graham crackers in the pan and that one go ahead and turn it that way maybe all right, you're going to want to try to cover the whole bottom with graham crackers, even if you have to break them up a little bit to fill it up. Okay, then you need to go with your pudding. Now see how this is set up? This is very nice. You're going to take half of it. Here, let me try to spread that in there. You want about half of your pudding and Cool Whip mixture to make the bottom layer. Spread that all around. Okay. And I'm going to open another package of graham crackers and do another layer. Now, this dessert is best if it is in the refrigerator and cold. And in fact, 24 hours later, it's even better than when you make it right away because the pudding will soak down into the graham crackers. But if you like it nice and crunchy, you can eat it right away. So we're gonna go ahead and make another layer here. Oh, that one broke. Of graham crackers. And you've noticed that I've put the graham crackers in different directions, it doesn't matter. As long as you cover up all the whole pan. Okay, I don't know. Oops, even little pieces like that, as long as you get that graham cracker crunch in there, even if it's going to have to overlap a little bit, it's okay. Just get those graham crackers in there. Okay. All right, so now we need to pour the rest of our Jello and Cool Whip topping. Okay, we're going to pour the rest of this in here. I'm going to spread it around. I really need a spatula. Let's see if I've got one over here. I don't like leaving any yummy goodness inside a bowl. I'd rather it be in my dessert. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the rest of that in there. Spread that around. And then we need one more package of graham crackers for the topping. Mm -mm -mm. Doesn't this look delicious? Who doesn't like pudding and 
whipped cream. All right, let me get this other box. All right, so we're going to make one more layer, and then we're going to put the icing on. And then, like I said before, it's best if you put it in the refrigerator a little bit before you eat it. But if you do want to eat it right away, nothing that says you can't do that. Let's see. Let's go this way with it. I'll lay those. And you really, at the top, you really want them as close together as possible so that when your icing goes on, it stays on top of the graham crackers. Let's see. Get that down in there. Now, as you can see, this only takes a few minutes to make. If you can make it ahead of time and let it soak in the refrigerator for a while, let that pudding soak down into the graham crackers. It's really yummy. Oh, okay, now I put my <laughs> frosting got really thick, which is perfect because we just want it to lay on top. Okay, I did not bring... A napkin over here okay so I'm going to take this and just spread the frosting all over those graham crackers trying not to make a mess but if you do that's all right all right we're almost done and then I would going to try to cut a piece so you can see what it looks like too because it's a layered dessert, which makes it really yummy. All right, I'm trying to scrape out all that frosting. Don't want to leave any behind. All right, folks, this is a chocolate eclair dessert. Graham crackers, pudding, whipped cream, in a layered dish. All right. Now, if you'll give me just a second, I'm going to go ahead and try to cut a piece out here. See, it's crunching right through those. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. Think I can do it? I'm not sure. Look at this, boys and girls. Look at that, everybody. All right. This is your layered chocolate dessert called a chocolate eclair. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm Miss Lisa here at the Fayette County Public Library. Enjoy a chocolate declare tonight. Hope you make it. All right. Bye now. See you again in two weeks for another recipe.